the boy or omen. Show him to me. Excellent. Very excellent. Now bring him to me. Of course, Lord Omen. Now go. So there are seven types of electromagnetic radiation. Radio, microwave, infrared, light, ultraviolet, and x-ray. And the last being gamma. You can have lots of different types of waves coexisting in the same space without much disturbance. That's why when you use Wi-Fi or any other form of, of wireless communication, you don't get a distorted and messed up signal. So, just like when Dar! Dr. Yeah. Bruce Banner Subjected to gamma rays, he turned into the Incredible Hulk. Three fifty-four. You will see this documented in many different spots. So basically, that's how we interact with the electromagnetic spectrum on a daily basis. Any questions? All right, then, class. You guys have a great spring break. Yes, sir, is someone at the sleepover today? Yeah, of course. Is my pick on Yeah. Alright, so we're playing good. Is your mom picking us? No, she's in a business meeting in Tokyo for five days. Wait, but now who's picking us? My sister, Erin. Is she like 14? No, she's 16. Okay. She should be here soon. Honestly. Do you think she got into trouble? Like, is it? What yeah, is that, that is her? Is. Yeah. That is. Oh. All right. Hey, Erin. Hey. What's up, guys? Oh, was I too late? You definitely are. The last kid left like seven minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't find the keys. Just so you guys know, Matthew's already at the house. Oh, all right. All right, then let's go. Okay guys, we are here. Yo, what up, Matthew? 
Yo, what's up? Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, Ben. You had a new wheel stretch? Yeah, I brought it. Can I see it? Here, you can hold on to it. <gasps> Did you bring the dock as well? Yeah, I brought the dock, but I don't have an HDMI cable, but I'm pretty sure Tyler has one. Tyler, do you have one? Yeah, I think I have one. Okay. Here, Ben, take this. Oh, you guys are gonna play some Switch? Yeah. Hey, Aaron, do you know where the HDMI cable is? It's in the black trunk in Mom's room. Okay, thanks. <gasps> guys! <laughs> Guys, it's getting late. I think we should go to sleep. No, no, please, Tyler. No, Matthew, please. I, I want to keep playing. Please. Too bad we're going to sleep. No! I call top bunk. I call bottom. I call. But where do I sleep? Ben, you gotta sleep on the floor. Why? Because we already called dibs. <gasps> Fine. All right. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, y'all. I didn't... Why am I on the ceiling? Calm down, Tyler. It's probably just a lucid dream. No need to get worried.
that you? Oh, no, you don't. Come on! Just go to sleep. So, how did you sleep, Matthew? Well, I slept pretty good, actually, except for when Ben tried to steal my Switch. <laughs> well, that's Ben for you. How did you sleep, Aaron? Well, first of all, I couldn't sleep until 1 in the morning because you guys were being so loud. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that. And then on top of that, when I finally managed to go to sleep, I woke up like 10 minutes later to this explosion or something i don't know it came from the living room <laughs> oh my god tyler are you okay yeah i'm i'm okay i had this weird dream last night <coughs> where i heard a similar sound from the living room probably because you heard it in real life and somehow it leaked into your dream yeah maybe how come you got out i smell waffles Bye, guys. Bye, Matthew. Mm. Bye, Tyler. Wait, Matthew, let me help you with your bike. Hey, okay, Tyler, I guess I'll see you later this week. Oh, yeah, definitely. Bye. See you, Matthew. So, how'd you sleep then? Well, I couldn't go to sleep like till four in the morning. Was it because of the loud boom in the middle of the night? What are you talking about? The booming sound in the middle of the night. Didn't you hear it? Nope. Why did you hear it? Well, I heard it in my dream. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Stop looking at the TV so stupid and let's just go. Alright.
Yeah, this was pretty fun. We should do that again sometime. Yeah, we should. Oh, no, no, no. Not while I'm here. That was the worst sleep of my life. Okay, sheesh. Yo, Aaron, that's my house right there. Okay. All right. Later, y'all. See you, Ben. Later. Hey, um, Aaron, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Uh, call me crazy, but I think what happened last night was because of me. What, did you leave the TV on or something? Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean. So what you're saying, what you think happened was because of your dream? Yeah. Tyler, that's ridiculous. That stuff only happens in movies. I know, it sounds crazy, but it's all adding up. Well, Tyler, I think personally it's just a coincidence, but if you want to get all superstitious, I think you might have astral projected. What's that? It's when your spirit leaves your body or something like that. I don't know, I learned it in history class last year. Astral projection. I'll look into it. Thanks, Aaron. No problem. <laughs> Hey guys, Nicholas Newport here. Welcome to the first episode of Astral Projection 101. Today we're going to be covering what exactly is Astral Projection. Now, Astral Projection is essentially when you go to sleep and then your the second part of your body actually leaves you and enters the other plane or the astral plane. And essentially in this state, you are in another reality. You are not in your everyday life. You're more in a different place within your everyday life that you can't observe normally. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Astral Projection 101. Today we're we'll be covering how to astral project. Essentially what you want to do is go to sleep, get your body into an extremely relaxed state. So what we want to try to do is get your soul to leave the body and your soul can then observe the other plane while your body is stuck to reality. Hey guys, Nicholas here. We're here with another episode of Astral Projection 101. Today we're going to talk about what it feels like to be in the astral plane. Now it's pretty different. Nicholas Newport here with another video of Astral Projection 101 coming at you with an episode about portals. Now, portals are pretty crazy, believe me, and there's a lot of things to learn about them, but first things first. So, fun thing about portals is that you actually can't get anywhere dangerous because you can't get hurt. Contrary to popular belief, you're essentially invincible while you're in the astral plane because anything that's a non-material object can't hurt your material self. And if you are to be hurt by anything in the astral plane, you'll just, your astral form of yourself will retract from the plane back into your physical body and you'll wake up. So you're fine. Next thing is that basically anything can be a portal. Now, I mean basically anything. Anything from a painting to a television. As long as you can transfer enough energy into it, it's a portal. Now, how do you tell if something's a portal? Well, what you gotta do is that you can stick your hand in it and see it lead somewhere else. It's a pretty clear sign that it's a portal.
Alright, I think of where do you want. 